Hey guys, it's Nerdgasm. Welcome back to Batman Arkham Origins. This uh, should be the final part of the playthrough. Um, I will just play until the game is done. We uh, we don't have much left here. Just the uh, the final assault on uh, Blackgate Prison here that Joker has uh, escaped from and has taken over. Sort of like a, an Arkham Asylum like scenario at uh, at the end of this game. Right to the throat with the shield. And then yeah, at this part, um, coming off the the last the the last let's play here, um, Batman has uh, the the police and, and and the security here. They they needed anyone anyone to to come help them, and Batman uh, Batman is is the one who uh, who who has come here. So he he's learning to. To kind of uh, take on some allies, work uh, work alongside Gordon and the uh, the GCPD. Because because uh, Bane, Bane almost killed Alfred <laughs> last time too, which was uh, pretty pretty intense. Um, and then that kind of was the uh, the reality check this uh, this naive Batman needed. Got that right. I feel remarkably well, considering. Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. Oh! You know what? That pisses me off. That right there, that like scripted event, but like, you, you break through the one layer, and then you just gracefully fall through and break the other layer of the, the wooden uh, planks. The wooden boards. How come you can do it there and not anywhere else in the game? <laughs> when you have to use explosive gel. Unlike in, like, you know, uh, Arkham City, where you could just glide through them. That is bullshit. I, f I completely forgot about that. God, th the game doesn't even follow its own goddamn rules. Fuck sakes. <laughs> well, for fuck's sake, is, is how to uh, really say that. For the sake of fuck. Ah, uh, right here too. I gotta use my explosive gel. Back there I didn't have to. I've been making such a big deal about that, but it, it really it really is annoying. These lightning uh or electrical effects look pretty shitty too. Ain't gonna lie. All these poor bastards. That guy got his face <laughs> right into the uh the console there. More of my plastic platform. Comes with every Batman action figure. It's too too quiet <laughs> in here. It's awkwardly quiet. Really awkward. Okay. So I think we gotta turn on this thingy, which yeah, right there. But you gotta go quick if I remember. Yeah. Yeah, gotta go fast. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Nice. And that turns on the uh, the water. And raises the uh, the water level. Which looks like it's not is it? Um, um. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's it doesn't even look like it's that high up. God, the the yeah. Look, it's right there. All that fog made it look like the uh, the water level was a lot lower than uh, a lot lower than that. Some ice there. Must be uh. I remember when I when I first played this game and saw that I just I was like oh, it'd be so cool if Mr. Freeze was in this game even though he wasn't. We uh, we ended up getting him in uh, the uh, the DLC though, which I will be reviewing after my review of this game. So all this just spamming the, the glue grenade over and over.
These doors are like the uh, the ones in Arkham Asylum. How's it going? And bam! <laughs> that was over quick. Oh, message from Joker. You're not Santa. Three hours? Jeez, that didn't... Felt like a lot longer than that. So funny. Psycho. Mm. I remember this area. This, uh... I like, I like this one. This is pretty fun. You gotta save Harleen Quinzel. Which, honestly, she didn't really, uh... Kind of a useless cameo because it didn't go anywhere. But yeah, I like this uh, predator area because I mean I'm still gonna spam all my <laughs> my cheap gadgets like the remote claw. But I like how there's the interior gargoyles and then the uh, the ones on the outside. There's just so many in this area, and then just there you go. There's three down. Well, four down actually. Uh, plus the the guy at the beginning there from the the vent. Uh, okay. Oh, that is the concussion detonator. I almost did. <laughs> I almost selected that again by mistake. I think yeah, one of those didn't work. So I had another. I had another one of them. Maybe the one guy got caught on the. The gargoyle on his, uh, oh, got caught on the side of these uh, pillars on the way up to the uh, gargoyle, which look like wolves in this area. Oh, fuck. Lucky bastard. There we go. And then, come on. There we go. He had the goggles on too. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> Stop bitching. Stop complaining. Covered in glue. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's so stupid. It's such a stupid gadget. Oh, can I not do? I wanted to go diagonally across. Oh, okay. I can do this one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off though. It's. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be that skilled. He's gonna help his buddy out of that, isn't he? Oh no, nope. nope. It wore off. It wore off. Hmm. Yoink. Alright, there's that, there's that. Do some glue grenade. Do some smoke. Nice combo. And that's that. That's it. That that's that. <laughs> nice and uh nice and simple. 
Maybe those hostages know where the Joker's hiding. But yeah, Harleen Quinn's out. So you rescue her here, and she just, uh... There's really no point to it. Like, her, her cameo, her, uh... Her role in this game is, is so insignificant that they shouldn't even have included her in any way. Like, she's part of that, um... Like that that sequence when when Joker's in his uh, red hood get up and and everything, but uh, I, I just feel they could have did a lot more with with Hurley in this game. They really need to boost security in this place. I mean, twice in one day. I know, right? It's crazy. Are you okay? What's it to you? If they make if they make a sequel, obviously they'll. Uh, I'm sure they'll explore uh, more with uh, Harley Quinn. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting. For you. But yeah, th even this conversation between Batman and uh, and Manu, you know, like, not even all it really is is like, you know, I don't want to talk, and like, oh, just he's over there. Like, th there's not really much uh, discussed. Like, th you know, they don't some paint. They don't. Um, they don't really do anything <laughs> with her there. Like I don't know why, why they did that. It's unnecessary. So Joker is just painting up all the uh, the walls here. Oh, oh man, these guys are. Just <laughs> oh, that guy's in the cage. More shitty fire. God, that's terrible. Joker's, uh, Joker's not right in the head, is he? <laughs> just, just gonna throw that out there. He, he doesn't seem entirely sane. What the hell happened there? My combo was lost because Batman, like, shifted over. I can't e I don't even know how to explain that. Okay. There's a bucket on his head. All you can hear is the fire, <laughs> the flames. Oh, here's uh, Deathstroke. All he uh, all he does is push-ups. One after the other after the other. Have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up fifty million bucks. Oh, if Scarecrow and Arkham Knight want my help, I'll I'll come to the uh, the aid then too. So yeah, all he does is push-ups, just over and over. There's a uh, like a post credit scene in this game too, or, or mid credit scene, or, or whatever, kind of hints at a, uh, a Suicide Squad movie, which, um, I don't know, or, or, sorry, I think it was hinting at like a Suicide Squad game that they might have done, um, or it's, it's hinting at the, uh, that Suicide Squad or Assault on Arkham uh, movie that came out set in the, uh, oh fuck, set in the Arkham uh, universe in the continuity um, that came out after this, but it's uh, but yeah, I don't really think um, much much came of it. Like apart from that that animated film, but when I when I first played this game, I assumed it was like a, a video game, like it was going to be a sequel. But of course, we we never got that, or haven't got it uh, it yet. If there is a, another game in uh, production, who the fuck knows anymore? You know, I, I think Arkham's dead at this point, the series, but... Because uh, they haven't... It's been... Jeez, the last game was 2015. Uh, it's been it's been quite a while. I feel if, if it would have been... If it was important and, and something they wanted to uh, announce, they would have done it by now.
And I wouldn't say too, like, oh, they need to, they need to kind of wait and, uh, and, and, you know, make sure what they're making is good. Uh, because, like, even Arkham Knight, you know, its pros and cons, it was still pretty solid. They don't need to, uh, kind of take their time with the next one. I don't, I don't think, like, I mean, take more time than they did with this one. <laughs> with, with Arkham Origins, because this one was just rushed out, but, uh. And I have heard, like, they might have started one project and then it ended for, for one reason or another, who got cancelled, and then they had to start again, or whatever, but until any of this is, like, officially, uh, like, officially, um, announced, like, or, or, uh, there's just, like, official sources of this, I, I don't believe anything. You know, it's just, um, it's just fan, uh, fan theories and, and, uh, you know, just anyone looking to make a, a YouTube video and get a few views, like it's it's, you know, unless it's verified, I'm I'm not gonna believe any of this shit. Let's activate the shock gloves. Do some damage. I like how the boots are just in bigger. Uh... <laughs> how much punishment do you need, Dick? There we go. Bulldog. So many mattresses in this room. On the floor. I don't know where they got all the mattresses and, and set them up this fast. <laughs> I'd like to know how fast they uh, padded out this room. Here we go. The big, uh... The big fight. <laughs> it's like Gladiator. Let him go. I... I understand. You had a chance to let me die, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. Maybe. <laughs> Just a little. A lot of people. <laughs> I brought the city to its knees. Crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents! <laughs> so this part is, um, one of the most okay, okay. geniusly written, uh, elements, like, parts of this game. How they, um, kind of toy with Batman's moral code, his moral compass. So either you that was unnecessary. <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. So I was uh, talking over that a bit, but like, yeah, he's got a heart monitor there, so... Every, every beat of Bane's heart charges the chair, um, you know, if, if, so Joker would die if we obviously beat the shit out of Bane. Oh shit, this is, this boss is hard, you gotta keep running, he, he does so many charges. Um, and then yeah, obviously if we kill Bane, Bane's gonna die, and then it, obviously too, if we lose, we're gonna die. So it's, it's a cool, um, I, I just think it's very clever, uh, with, with how they did it, um, you know kind of putting putting Batman against the wall in basically every way uh, in regards to his no-killing rule. I think it's... Oh, shit. See? You gotta... Gotta stop talking here. I'm... <laughs> too much talking. This battle is just... Um, charging so much. Now, m mind you, it, it is it is more challenging than, than his fight on the, uh, the rooftop that we had. Um, but uh, eventually... Like, this part's pretty challenging, but eventually... He, uh, you get unlimited shock gloves, like energy, so. Then right there, oh, dead, game over. <laughs> Don't move. Maybe you should move. Just straight up shoots him. <laughs> like when he's punching his foot like that. I don't know why it looks so funny. 
Careful, Jim. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim. Jim, Jim. Seemed too easy to, uh, <laughs> to take him out. Like two little potato I had to actually look up what a potato latke was <laughs> after playing this game. I had no fucking clue. And this right here. Thanks to Electrocutioner, we can we can win. If it weren't for him, see he's the most vital part of this game, Electrocutioner. <laughs> he's the most important. Uh, that that little punch shocked uh, Bane enough to. So yeah, right here you you get unlimited shock gloves. So uh, it is still challenging. It's still a challenging fight. I'm not gonna you know take anything away from. Oh fuck. Oh god. I'm not going to take anything away from it, but, like, w with that, I guess, because, yeah, it is still challenging. But um, but the fact that they give you unlimited shock gloves, like, it is, it makes you a bit overpowered. So, like, again, it's not easy necessarily, but it, it, it is, you know, they they make it, they make it easier than, than they could have by giving you the, uh, the unlimited shock gloves. Because all you really have to do is dodge these, and then just club the fuck out of them. You do higher dam. Oh shit! You do higher damage. Uh, on on the hardest difficulty though, th this boss fight is um, is really difficult. My, I remember my, I, I do vividly remember my palms being uh, very sweaty. <laughs> so when he was running, because you're just like, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Move! Oh god, move. God, see, I, I always think he's done and then he just keeps going. Jesus! Jeez! Stop! There we go. I think it's. Oh shit. See, if you jump too, uh. too early, he still gets you. So yeah, and this right here too, like, so he, he kills Bane. He, Batman kills Bane, but, uh. but there's, uh. there's a loophole. A lot, of, a lot of juice needs to uh, to kill Bane. <laughs> it takes a lot of juice. He did it. <laughs> the game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah. Put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? <laughs> just dives in. I mean, it's not funny, but it's just the way it, it uh, the character model moved there. It looked kind of. Stupid run. Like he's had on the entire game. He's got my gun. Gordon, Joseph. I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean you didn't? <laughs> That's not how I. You mean no, you go. don't kill? Oh, you are a hero after all. <laughs> so this, uh, yeah. So he just uses the shock gloves. Again, thank. Thank heavens, Electrocutioner gave us such vital information <laughs> in this game. So just like Alfred, we gotta save Bane. He, he shouldn't be pissed when he wakes up, right? Oh! <laughs> yeah, he is. And then this part here, so it goes from being really clever to really fucking stupid. And, and this part kind of, uh, I think, um, hinders the whole Bane character in this game. Uh, what's another a good way of, of saying it here? Um, I don't know, it's kind of kind of like a blemish on, on the character too, like... Because now he's just this big, massive TN1 field. He's just yelling, screaming. I mean, it is terrifying, but... Uh, but he's just like a, a, a mindless brute now, kind of like the the Bane is in the the later, uh, not the later games, the previous games, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City that take place uh, later in the continuity. And then, um, 
and it and it, it's I already mentioned in the pre in previous uh, parts of this that you know it, it has memory um, it damages the, the mind damages the brain uh, you know affects memory and uh, and basically yeah now that he's transformed into him uh, into this big hulking brute uh, you know we'll see in a few minutes once I beat him um, that he he forgets Bruce Wayne is Batman because it has to fall in in, in line with uh, the past uh, the past few games so the games that take place later in the the timeline. Oh yeah, right into there. You gotta you gotta try to get him into the uh, the areas there because you do a lot more damage. Kick him right into it. There you go. Look at that. Already half his his health meter. But yeah, I think it's just so stupid because right in that cutscene he was like, you know, you leave me no choice. What, what, like, what the fuck is he talking about? Leaving no choice. Like, oh shit. He knew where I was. <laughs> um. God damn. Oh. Got a, uh, a good throwing arm there, Bane. But, uh, but yeah, he said like... Yeah, it leaves him no choice to use it, and it just feels so forced, um, you know, and unnecessary. Because I, I think the, you know, the intelligent Bane that we met earlier in the game would not be that fucking stupid to uh, to do that. But there we go into that one. Because I think he, I, I in the last part, I, I didn't, I picked it up, but I didn't actually. Uh, um, I didn't play it, but I'm pretty sure the audio tape with Bane when he when he explains TN1 and its side effects and everything. I'm pretty sure he he uh, like yeah, it doesn't sound like he, he's actually willing to use it. So yeah, I, again, I just feel like the the Bane we knew just in in an instant went from being logical and intelligent with, with his you know thought process to being a complete dipshit <laughs> within seconds. Okay, so now, now we gotta do this, uh, we have no idea where he is. I have to, uh, disable this real quick. Hopefully he doesn't sneak up behind me, there we go, that's tense. You get nervous with that. Oh, he's over there. Oh. Is he caught? Is he stuck? He's fucking stuck! Oh my god. Well... He's gonna see me though. Shit! Did that even did that even work? <laughs> Does is smoke futile? Yeah, he was he was fucking stuck on the wall there. God. Oh man! Every time I play this game, there's always something new that it finds a way to fuck up <laughs> in some new way. And again, so many people want a, a remake of this, a remaster, but I think any developer would have their work cut out for them to finish this, uh, this thing. Damn it, he's still not done. I think it'll take one more. One more. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, he's... I, I can feel him. My controller's shaking. Okay, no, he he passed me. Just doing laps now. Is that is that it? Oh man, it's, it, he like reaches in, looks in. Boom! Ah, oh, I missed it by just a hair. Oh shit! That's a terrible. Uh, <laughs> camera angle. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible. Oh man, I feel like I'm having a seizure looking at these lights. Oh. Oh, a few bro broken ribs. I'm fine. Come on, you big bastard. He like judders a bit and he uh, gets held back. There we go. 
Should electrocute him, stop his heart again. <laughs> Might as well. And uh he's he's gotta be really heavy. So yeah, right there, yeah, Alex, he's he's dumb now, he doesn't remember, and, and again, Bane saying he has no choice, going from being, you know, uh, an intelligent, logical, rational thinking person, and then realizing that if he takes that, he's going to destroy his memory. He, you know, might not even remember who he is. Why the fuck would you take it in that instance? There's no fucking reason for that, but yet he does, and, and I think, again, I think it just kind of, uh, you know, cuts the legs out from under the character a bit, and just, just, uh, it's a fucking joke, honestly, you know, and, uh, yeah, because it's not so much that he forgets who, who Batman is, that that's contrived and forced, you know, to fit the narrative of the other games, the, the later games in the, the time, in the timeline, but, but just, from Bane's perspective, you know, again, being intelligent, and then deciding to do that, it's just fucking stupid. <laughs> has all hell, and something Bane wouldn't do, especially the Bane in this game. It's not something I, I can see him doing, but whatever, we'll, uh, we'll move on. Oh, Killer Croc. He's only back for like a few seconds. Son of a bitch, where'd he get the bat? This part's pretty cool, you get to, you get to, uh, to fight alongside Gordon. And he can punch, I'm pretty sure he can punch through like shields and everything. But it's kind of awkward because, uh, as you can see, he's, yeah, he's just kind of awkward with his fighting. And then he'll get in the way as well, which will uh, fuck up your combo. <laughs> he's fighting better than me. Damn it, see? He went for... The game told me to dodge, but he went for Gordon. And then Gordon just fucking decked a martial artist and took him out. <laughs> so, maybe you should be doing my job. Okay. Some more fire. Jesus. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's just cheap. Into the church. The prison chapel. The final confrontation with Joker. He, <laughs> Batman's had enough of his shit. Dodge. That's another, uh, when you play I, I am the, the, I am the, oh, Jesus, what the fuck is going on with the camera? What is going on with this game? <laughs> I just want to beat it without any more glitches. But anyways, <laughs> with I am the night mode, that, that, uh, block of the gun is, is difficult to time as well. Just picking up glass to, to fight me. So th this part here is a bit cartoony and, and exaggerated, but uh, I think it works. Just because of the, the amount of uh, just insanity Batman's been put through with with Joker here. You get the nice, <laughs> the nice shots, the slow-mo, just constant punches to him. And then laggy with the cutscene. <laughs> Of course. That's why you do it, isn't it? You like the and then this here is almost like a sexual type connection they got. Or like a... Uh, I don't know how to say it. Like, Joker likes the pain. He's, he's, he enjoys it. Is that sadist or masochist? One, one or the other. And then, yeah, he's getting choked and he's like, oh, yeah. And he, he can... 
he like transforms into like his fantasy I guess I don't it's kind of a uh, he's crazy <laughs> so he likes the pain he likes the fun this this constant back and forth battle is just uh just fun to him it's fucking fucking crazy <laughs> psycho there's your gun back don't shoot me but I still have to bring you in Batman's face there's like are you fucking kidding me I'm in the chapel we got the Joker he barely looked away I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. This part's kind of cheesy. And I now know the truth is because uh, I let him he go. didn't. You didn't let me go. You just. You, you didn't see me leave. <laughs> I, don't I guess he's referring to like continuing to pursue Batman after that. Box. He probably just said, "Ah, fuck it. Never mind." Any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. There's Bane. <laughs> I love this part. Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> this is going to be. Fun for you. <laughs> Probably not Batman. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. Alright guys, so that's Batman Arkham Origins. Um, I hope you enjoyed my, my Let's Play. Um, I love this game. Um, you know, it's, it's not obviously one of my favorite superhero games out there. It's not one of my favorite Batman games either. But it is, uh, it is a lot better than a, a lot of people give it credit for. Um, it, it has its flaws uh, in, in the narrative. It has its flaws, you know, just uh, game-wise. Like, the, the frame rate is terrible. The game world itself is pretty boring, uh, bland, you know, barren in terms of stuff to do. Um, and it's buggy and, and glitchy a lot as well. If they ever do make a remake, again, I think any developer uh, taking... Uh, Taking charge of it will we'll have a, a lot on their their plate to uh, to fix uh, in order to to re-release it, but uh, but yeah I, I do enjoy this uh, this game it's it's not it's not terrible by any means. Um, if you enjoyed my let's play, hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified of all future uh, videos I release, all future content, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.